Hi there, and welcome to PyTorch Deep Learning in 7 Days. I'm Will Ballard, and I'm CTO of GLG, the world's largest insight platform. I've got about 20 years of using AI and machine learning in business applications, and was an early adopter of TensorFlow, Keras, and PyTorch, which we use in production AI models at work. Well, let's take a look at what we're going to be covering here in the course overview. PyTorch is a pretty big library, and there's a lot to learn, so we're actually going to drill in by expanding on some early simple concepts of getting started with PyTorch, and then we'll build some really basic neural network models and then move on to regression, classification, and convolution, which are the basic techniques you're going to use to do machine learning with PyTorch. And then we'll do a couple more advanced things. We'll work on transfer learning and natural language processing uses embedding and vectors. And then finally, we'll do something a little bit fun, generational adversarial networks, which will actually generate new images from raw random data. The videos are actually a lot of code, and I'm going to be using VS Code throughout. I actually like VS Code a lot because it has this inline Jupyter Notebook running facility. So you can actually pull up the code and edit with what is really a, I'll call it normal editor, click the button on the run cell or run all cells and see the output appear on the right. This is actually pretty handy in my mind compared to using Jupyter Notebooks in the classic way, which you're editing inside of the web browser, which is a little bit of a weird experience in my view. But running with Jupyter as the server and VS Code as the client, you can kind of have the best of both worlds. You can have a full power editor and you can walk through the code. There's actually going to be a lot of demonstration and machine learning running loops as well. So you can see on the right hand side here, which is an excerpt from one of the later videos, we're actually going to be training and looking at the output of lots of videos with some real time visualizations of loss functions, as well as generating output images and uh, output classification reports. We'll also look at how to measure the accuracy of models in code using uh, scikit-learn. This is actually a great technique to figure out how well your model is working in practice. In order to get the most out of this course, you're going to need some experience with the command line shell on Windows or Linux and working with Python scripting or application development in general. We're not going to cover a lot of math, so this isn't really a science class. This is really an engineering or programming class that if you're a relatively normal developer, you're going to be able to build machine learning models. The goals for the course are pretty straightforward. I want you to walk away understanding PyTorch and have a good sense about how to use Jupyter and VS Code. I want you to be able to build neural networks of many kinds, layered, convolutional, recurrent, and generational, and you'll be able to work with text and image data at the end, particularly to build classifiers and regression models. And that's what we've got, so let's go ahead and get started.